feel like we're just inching forward, but the people at the front aren't moving. You realize, okay. So we're gonna get home at nine, 9.30. We left DC at 3.30. It's gonna be a six hour drive. Six hours. Why did you get really mad at me? Because you flipped off a trucker. But why did he... But why did I flip off the trucker? Because he honked at us. And why did he like... Why did he honk at us? Because apparently I'm a bad driver. Because I'm a woman. You said it. I support that. Trip the shutter. Hey, how about this? Since we're in a car and we're talking about cars, and everybody wants to talk about what do you do when you join the Marine Corps? What happens to your car? Motomobile. Motomobile. First off, you automatically put a dress blue cover in the back, and you put a thousand bumper stickers on it. And, and you put your rank on there. And you put your rank sticker on the front, back, side door, underneath, so when the mechanic goes and fixes it, he sees it there. And then right on the roof, just in case any helicopters go to see you. But... When you go to boot camp, obviously you don't need your car. So when I went to boot camp, I sold my car. In fact, you really don't need a car for like your first year in the Marine Corps, depending on how long your MOS school is. My MOS school lasted like seven months. Of course, I was at boot camp for three and I had, uh, I was on Camp Geiger for uh, Camp Guard and MCT for two or three or something like that. So anyway, uh, you're gonna take a left up here. Anyway, I didn't need a car for like the first like 12 to 13 months of my Marine Corps existence. So, um, take into account that when you're, when you're at MOS school, you cannot have a car. Not allowed. And besides, you're not even allowed to have like liberty, to be honest with you. Oh, that looked like good news. I know where we're going. She knows where we're going. We chopped off a bunch of time. High five. So anyway. You can't have a car, obviously, for boot camp. You can't have a car for MCT, and you can't have a car for MOS school. So already, there's no use in paying for car payments and for insurance all those months because you're not even going to be using that car. So what I recommend is get to your first duty station, get the get settled in, you know, like spend like a month there and and just relax for a little bit. Find out who is your most trusted NCO, like typically get a sergeant or even get a staff sergeant to help you find a car. Or you can go to like Navy Federal and they'll actually help you find a car that one is from a good dealership and two is for a good price that you can afford. Because I swear to God, if you do the stereotypical Marine thing and buy a Mustang the first month you're at a boot camp, you're an idiot and you deserve to go into debt. Um, but yeah, and that's funny. My old roommate had a Mustang. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So Navy Federal will actually find you a reputable dealer. Now, believe it or not, if you go to a Marine Corps base, there's actually like loan sharks and bad dealerships all around the base that say, "Oh yeah, we'll give you a great deal on this car. You just gotta pay." 25% interest and before you know it you owe these guys like four or five times the amount you originally paid for the car so instead of paying freaking seven thousand dollars for this car great now you owe thirty thousand because you didn't pay the loans and there's too high of interest so make sure you're smart about budgeting make sure you either go to the bank or consult with an NCO or staff NCO and wait just hold off until you're done with MOS school and you're in the fleet to buy a car Okay, now you know about automobiles. Let's catch you up on how our drive is going. Miranda, what's the what's the scoop? We're taking backwoods through the middle of Pennsylvania. At least it's like pretty though. Oh, it's gonna be a gorgeous drive. I mean, we might mack a deer when it gets dark, but until then, it's gonna be phenomenal. Mm. And we managed to get home 20 minutes later than we were scheduled to. So, not bad. Not bad. Made the best of it. Because at least this way we added the 20 minutes 
parked, but we're going to be moving instead of sitting in traffic the whole time. Very true. Excited. All right. Well, I think we should end this vlog with one, a picture of that. 